Hey button pushers, my name is Nick and welcome back to the Haunted PS1 demo disc. And today we're going to be playing Still Rich. An astral traveller navigates the dreams and nightmares of the citizens of Still Rich, a West Virginia mountain town with a sinister history. One person dev team. The smallest possible team. Oh dear. dear. I already hate that. Good. A bloody lunch bag. That's promising, isn't it? JB made this. In case you didn't know. Dream, remember, and figure, awake. Oh, is that like start, load, settings, and quit? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Dream. A game by Justin Brown. Every night is the same dream. The details may be different, but the narrative is familiar. Endlessly I wander through impossible terrain. The object of my desire is always in sight, forever out of reach. Countless iterations dull my senses, in a nightmare of looping patterns. I consume, but always I hunger. That's... That sounds like you're either a zombie or a vampire, my friend. Ooh. Okay, this is the room from the PS1 lobby, and I didn't like this room. There were lots of bugs in here. Oh, it's very dark in here as well. A leather wallet. A hover pointer over the top of the screen. Right click to inspect items. Cool. Click and drag to rotate items and reveal their secrets. Drag. Drag. Oh my god. Really? Why? This is the heaviest wallet in the world. Surely there's something in the wallet. I can see it. I can see inside. Why am I having such trouble rotating this wallet? Ah. Uh, uh, a driver's license. I don't need this empty wallet anymore. Okay. Driver's license. Nope. A Virginia driver's license. Omar Fletcher. Date of birth, May 20th, 1986. Listen, end, Virginia. There's a veteran star in the corner. So that had the same name as me, so I'm assuming that was my wallet. And I am, in fact, a veteran. Well, locked. It's too sturdy to break, but I can see the latch through the jam. Through the jam? What's the jam? Is there anything else in here? I love that this is a point-and-click game, by the way. I love a good point-and-click game. And also was not expecting that at all. Okay, well, it's just too dark to see anything back here. And also, I'm going to assume there's nothing there. Okay, well, as it's the only thing I have, I'm going to attempt... Can I jiggle the door open? Slide it through the jam. I think I can wedge this card into the jam. Oh, I am a genius. Got it. Mm -hmm. Digital clock. No power. Well, that's not helpful. Can I... That. Okay, we're changing the camera angle. Good. That's a lot of tablets. I know you're flashing. I will deal with you in a moment. An empty bottle of Mifepristone? Mifepristone? Pills are scattered across the table. There's also a bottle of Hydroco. Practically brand new. Teddy bear. Stuffed bear with a distended belly. Its eyes are sad. Oh, that's, that's genuinely quite heartbreaking. Empty beer bottles. Influenza, wheat beer, and kappa ale. A bit too snooty for a blue collar town. Okay, so what? Hydrocodone acetaminophen. Potent painkillers are very addictive. I've known people who died from overdose mixing with alcohol. They just stopped breathing. Yeah, I don't like that these tablets and this beer that's that's not a fun combination a telephone with a built-in message recorder there's an old message shave well, i'm gonna play that thank you for ordering from bun in the oven custom crafts we are a non-profit organization where all proceeds are donated for the benefits of fighting ovarian cancer every bundle of joy is a prize inside bun in the oven custom crafts
Okay. I'm assuming that's where the stuff there came from. Right, well, we're done here. Good. So I thought I could hear like a... Yeah, I can hear a squeeching. Squeeching? Like a swinging... Something in the background. I, I hate it. Because it makes me think, has somebody hung themselves? Ah, okay. It's this. It's the lantern. Good. The lantern. It's the lantern. It's the light. Wait. Did I just see some? Oh, it's a coat. Okay. That looked like a big, meaty person stood there right in my peripheral vision. Um, okay. Scissors. Grody scissors. Surprisingly sharp. Oh. An empty picture frame. Something's written on it. A happy marriage split apart, each the other's demon. Unite the two to fill this hole and find the date they said I do. A Rolodex. The lid is stuck shut. An ashtray stuffed with cigarette butts. Fresh back of my favourite brand. Don't mind if I help myself. Post it. Uh, post it, no. Ron Jenner morning show, 8 o'clock. Lies, lies, lies. Okay. Ooh, okay, I can change the dial. Nice. Um... Can I go over here? I'm assuming that's the clock that wasn't powered a minute ago. No, well, that's not. Okay, so that's now got power again. That's uncomfortable. That was the wrong word to use, but I mean, it is. Um, okay. Ooh, buh, 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 buh. Fabric, fabric scissors. Okay. I wonder if I can... Because this said something... A distended belly. It wouldn't have pointed it out if it was just a fat belly. So... Oh my god. I... Am an actual genius. Oh, what's going to be in here? More pills. Really? More pills. Yes, so much. More pills. Mysoprostol for cervical ripening. Induction of labour and treatment of... Gastroduodenal damage induced by non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs. What? Why? Why was it in a bear? Are you just. Will you shut up? 12 24 hour clock. I can set the time. The radio. So, if I set the time here, is it gonna. Is it gonna. I'll just set up 12. That's fine. Look, not reset itself, it only accepts specific times. Um, okay, I'm going to go check the radio. So yeah, if I change that, is it going to change the actual time? Because if so, that's very cool. Just want to double check. It's because I'm pretty sure this did have a time. 8 o'clock. Lies, lies, lies. This is really, really cool. It's AM, I guess. Time is set to 8 AM. Okay, something just clicked open. Was it this? It was not that. I'm not doing anything with the front door. Hmm. Interesting. Coat. A large overcoat. Pockets are empty. Okay. Um, okay, I haven't interacted with the cigarettes yet. Cigarette will help clear my head. There's something special about that radio. Eight o'clock morning show, huh? Maybe I can conjure up some memories if I get it working. Oh, this is neat. You can get the game to give you a little nudge in the right direction. Which is very cool. Okay, so... Assuming I just have to find the station. Oh, no power. Well, that doesn't help me, does it? Ooh. Well, now it works. Okay, well, this door's open. Door. Radio. Let's do radio. Let's do this now. It's now it's working. Then I'll go through that door. Hopefully, this is the right decision. Good morning. This is Ron Jenner with the eight AM news. Tragedy strikes Steel Ridge, West Virginia. Static was pronounced dead in her home at 2pm Saturday. 
coroner recorded the cause of death as asphyxiation from an overdose of opioids. Local authorities have ruled the death as accidental and without foul play. Truly a tragedy from a beloved local school teacher. Static is survived by her husband, Static, who was admitted to Mason University Hospital at 6pm for treatment of a self-inflicted gun wound. This news comes a week after the discovery of a dismembered corpse buried in the Sunderland Woods, officially reopening an investigation into the series of axed-based serial killings. Can you believe this, Jessica? All the kids listening to the True Crime podcasts when the real bleak is going down in the boombox. <laughs> You're right, Ron. Some real The Hills Have Eyes bleep out there. Better than Deliverance, Jesse. Any hillbilly come after me sounds squeal like a pig. He's got to get a size 13 up their ass. What about Zed, Ron? Zed's dead, baby. <laughs> up next, an interview with Static. Okay. Okay, so I can't go back. That word no, bounces me away. Okay. Huh? What's going on with this old radio? Let's well, let's go through this door. That was that's a good radio call. They didn't really didn't seem that fussed about two people that were dead. Door. Do the door. Oh, good. It's an infinitely looping hallway. Why though? Why though? This it's not on anymore. Okay. Um can I go back through the door? No, it's locked now. Okay, what have I missed? I can set the clock. But I don't know what to set it to. Cigarette! Help me! Same dream once again. Endless hallways, repeating structures, symbols of grief and pain. I need to look around a bit more. Things may be abstract, but the puzzle pieces are there if I look for them. What have I missed? Well, I mean, I've obviously missed something. I'm going to go and set the clock back to 8 o'clock. I'm going to listen to the radio broadcast again. Just to see if there was anything that I missed on there. Ah, Static was pronounced dead in her home at 2pm. Because we've got 2pm and a 6pm. Cool. Got to go, got to go. Let's go through this door, which is just open again, and then back around. 2 p.m., 6 p.m. Completely blanked on that last time. 2 p.m. Time is set to 2 p.m. Good. Good. <laughs> I don't want to do this, but okay. Hi. So this was the at the time she was pronounced dead. Okay, I can't interact with this. All it does is listen in on her crying. Um, can I get in? No. That's fine. Oh no. Excuse me. You appear to have let all the bugs out for a walk. I don't want to go in here. Please. Ooh. Ooh. Need medicine. Please. What's wrong? Sick. So sick. What, what are your symptoms? Broken heart. Battered body. And two things will let me rest. One to dull the pain, one to silence the voice inside me. Right, I'll, I'll look around and see what I can find. Well, I have two sets of tablets on me, so I'm assuming that's what the magical mystery voice wants. Painkillers? Thank you. Something to numb the pain. This is the bullet that kills me, but not the smoking gun. Oh, I keep getting flashes of the hand come through. That's awful. I feel nothing but the voice inside won't stop screaming. Well, this was like for what, gastro or something. Yes, for cervical ripening, induction of labour, and treatment of gastroduodenal damage induced by non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. I don't see any of that helping to stop voices, but... 
sure. If it's good for what ails you, it's good for what ails you. It's not, is it? It's going to kill them. This is why I'm not a doctor. Thank you. The voice inside is finally silenced. We both understand the value of our bodies. The abuse that comes. Thank you. I feel at peace. You are kind, Traveller. Kind? Kindness to you is assisting in your destruction. Kindness is aiding a stranger even when it's inconvenient. Kindness is speaking out against injustice even when you're a victim. I'm a victim as much as you are. My fate was a choice, and there is power in that. Then why is this dream always the same? Chasing a cycle of guilt and suffering. Endless fucking repetition. What is your role, Traveller? Uh, still rich called? I answered. And here you are, reliving the same painful moments again and again. I hate nothing more than indecision. I'm not going to straddle the fence here. Which puts you in incredible danger. You're a fool or a masochist. Goodbye, traveller. Until we meet again. I wish this was the final goodbye. For you it is. For me. You're not the first tonight. You're not the last. Goodbye, then. Oh, Jesus. That was a horrible noise. Born photo. God, the heart. The dragging does not work well. Why does the dragging not work well? There you go. I shut the game down and now it seems to be working better. That was that was weird. There are some numbers on the tall picture. 2112. Okay. I figured there was something on the back of it. That's why I kept persisting. Cool. I can actually rotate things better now. That was peculiar. Okay. Yep. Okay, that door's open. Someone's watching me. I am leaving. Stop. Stop. Whoever they were, they seemed very tall and very breathy. So I'm just, I'm, I'm out. I'm leaving. Goodbye. No, but I'm back again, and the bugs. Gross. Okay, so six p.m. wasn't it? Ooh, that was this was the gunshot wound. Six p.m. I realized I could have done eighteen hundred, but I didn't. Oh, uh, hi. Let's see. Let's see if I can do something with the coat. It looked like he was doing something with the coat. It might have just been he was hanging the coat up and he was coming in and I have to follow him through the door. I don't know. But let's have a look. A large overcoat. There's a gun in the pocket? My phone's ringing now? Good God. Block 17 with a full magazine. Ah... Why, why do I have a gun? Am I going to have to use the gun? I don't want to have to use a gun. Use, use the gun. Pick up the fuck. Pick up. Um. Hello? Listen to me, you son of a bitch. I made you. I fucking made you. You death threatened me over some bullshit you caused. If it weren't for me, you'd still be in whatever hellhole city you crawled out of getting fucked by a grand jury. This is quite angry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, we should discuss this like men. Sunderland Woods, usual spot, yeah? An hour. Okay. I don't trust you to go, to, to go from that angle. Oh, hi. Stop right there. Who are you? Hands on your head. Keep them up. I, I can't, I can't do anything. I said stop. God damn it! I'm, so, I'm stopped. Hands against the wall now. I can't. I, I can't stop resisting, or I will shoot. Who are you? 
Oh, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. <laughs> I mean, that works. Sure. Oh, this doesn't seem like a good place to be. It's too dark to see. Well, let's do something about that, shall we? Also, I hate this whole situation. Okay. I'm going to have to interact with it, aren't I? Oh! That says red rum, doesn't it? Oops. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, and there's an axe. Is that an axe? It looked like an axe. That wasn't there before. Oh. Oh, I hate it. Okay. Guess I'm going to take you. Oh. Back. Okay, please don't make me fish something out of that. Okay, can I leave now? I have a gun and an axe. I'm not scared of you anymore. Something's blocking the door. Well, let's do something about that then, shall we? Here's Nicky. Ooh, another photo. Okay, so... What a happy-looking couple. Uh, 21st of December, 1987. So the picture frame said something about a date. What did it say? I can't remember. What? The bullets won't help with that. I just need to burn this entire hallway to the ground. Unite the two to fill the hole and find the date they said I do. Okay, so can I put you in there? I can! A Rolodex with dated cards. Somehow there are thousands of them. Aha! Do you want? No. Month. Date. Year. Today I married the love of my life. My new partner is a young buck from New York eager to learn. And the help brought the sparkle back to this house. I'll let Ben stay as a living handyman. The neighbours will talk, but fuck them. I'm doing the right thing. A few years and I'll be chief. King of the fucking castle. Ooh. 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 Well, that's handy. Well, I'm going out this way, then. Oh, is that the thing that was above me a minute ago? What the fuck? Oh! Good God. Well, I'm back in here now. Good. What the ever loving hell. Okay, well, I still have everything, which is good. Is the door open? The door's open. Good. Good, 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 good. That. Oh, you are so big. Gun, gun. Bang. Oh. What the hell? You were so big and so heavily chained. Why? Okay, well now I'm leaving. Goodbye. Forever. Oh. oh this is so weird. Still rich. This is so so weird it's like obviously it's there's some PT to it with the ever looping hallway but 
there's definite like Twin Peaks vibes in this, even with the name Steel Ridge, it's very like Twin Peaks. What is happening to me? Where am I going? I'm returning to my body. My earthly vessel. Huh, the ghost cafe. Hi. JB. Hi, JB. Sorry I was sleeping on your counter. Wakey wakey, eggs and bakey, coffee's up. Ugh, wh where am I? Dee's Diner. Best hub for grub in all of Stillridge. I'll take it your day. Nah. John Boyd Harold, manager. Just call me JB. That's what everyone calls me. I run this place. Best rest stop on Scenic 33. I actually made it to Stillridge? Started drifting off as soon as I hit Massa Newton. Well, I should say. You came stumbling in, ordered coffee and breakfast, then passed right out. You must have had a nightmare. You were thrashing something fierce. I've been driving hard. I'm usually not that reckless. Uh, glad to hear it, friends. Name's Omar. Omar Fletcher. Happy to have you. It's always nice to have another brother in town. Feel me? If you have any questions, ask away. I know everything that comes and goes around these parts. I have so many questions, JB. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I thought I was having a nightmare. Huh. <laughs> he was dead still at first. Thought not to bother you. But uh, he was kicking and struggling. I've seen demons in there, Omar. Not demons, just people. What were you dreaming about? A hallway, endlessly looping. Dirty, peeling walls and scuff floors. Old tech. Digital clock with wood grain vinyl. Cassette tape answering machine. Dirty Rolodex. 80s pop culture. You feeling nostalgic? Sounds like my mama's house. Nah, I was born in 86. My dreams should be decorated in plaid with Jordans and jazz cups. And what about the people you see? They're like shadows. I can make out the form, but it's always dark. A man, a woman, a chained giant with a whip back. Oh, well, maybe your wires are crossed. How do you mean? Oh, when I was a kid, there was a big thunderstorm. I was talking to my friend on the corpus. She was walking me through the second quest in Zelda. For a minute, the audio cut out. Heard two girls having a conversation. One was crying, one was singing. Thomas Diner. You know, song that sounds like I Dream of Jeannie. There's a woman on the outside looking inside. Does she see me? I don't know. Eavesdropping's wrong, but I couldn't help myself. I could hear them, but they couldn't hear me, and I didn't hang up. I didn't say nothing, I just listened. What if dreams are like that? You fall asleep and dream, you get lost in dreamlands. A stranger at a party that no one can see, but you having fun anyway. What if they can see you? What if they see you, but they can't make you go away? Well, you're either invited or you're trespassing. That's how it works in real life, right? I wonder, how many people will tolerate an uninvited guest instead of forcing them out? That is a fascinating concept, actually. Genuinely quite fascinating. So am I actually in Steel Ridge? Yes, sir. Best little rest stop on the 33. I hadn't heard of Steel Ridge before, and I've got family in Williamson. What goes on around here? Tourism. This area was one of the more secretive parts of the Underground Railroad. Deep valleys, tree cover, and plenty of rivers to hide from dogs. Used to be Shawnee ancestral land. A lot of superstition around these parts. Really? What haints and mountain lights got people turn around here? Wow, I'm the whitest person in the world. You know how white folk be. First sign of goose pimples and they look to the sky like Jesus about to pick them up from football practice. Of course, when religion fails, guns do the talking. Surely we're long gone by the time this town was settled, but enough was left behind that locals still hold their breath when passing a mound. What about you, Arthur? What brings you here? I got a letter, anonymous, and told me to come to Steel Ridge and wait for it. I know, sounds like a scam, but the letter mentioned something only a few people in my life would know about. People I haven't seen in years. Am I being foolish? Does it matter if you learn something from the effort? Questions are easy. Finding the answer? That's the part that hurts. You, JB, are so wise. Town's history goes back to the War of 1812, Omar. You've got to be a bit more specific. 1987, right here. I asked him if anything weird's happened. I stupidly didn't think to actually read that part out. In Stillbridge? Yeah, but like right here. Like near this diner. Yeah. Serial killer stalked this area. Chopped people up with an axe. Barely made local news. 
Look up Steel Ridge on Wikipedia and it's all red links. It's a local legend now. Kids will dare each other to spend two minutes alone in Sunderland Woods. Two Mac gonna get ya, they say. Two minute axe killer, my ass. Shit. This axe killer. What was that about? I was in middle school back then. All I know is the prime suspects were two high schoolers. Never caught them. Manhunt resulted in a lot of false arrests, tampered evidence, false testimony thrown out in court. Local was shot dead. Police thought he was a suspect, but nah, wrong place, wrong time. Wrong colour. When I got that letter, I tried my damnedest to look up this place. All I could find was an unresolved mysteries post by a kid in Elkins from 2017. Did that axe clear ever get caught? No news, no press release. What the fuck? Yeah, same MI. A copycat or coincidence. Nothing ever came from it. I doubt the suits in Washington even reached the foot of the mountain. If it was a copycat, it would have been a local. You said it yourself, it barely made the news. Elkins ain't even an hour drive from here yet. They called it the Axe Killer, while you called it, uh, what was it, Two Mac? Who are you? True crimes author? Journalist fed up with gawker listicles? Celebrity podcaster? I'm a therapist. I help people deal with grief and trauma. And who are you here to help, Omar Fletcher? I don't know. I'd tell you that's weird, but you wouldn't be talking to me if you thought I was tripping. <sighs> then let's drop the subject, please. It's hardly table talk. <laughs> Lot of secrets in this town, alright, but like I said, questions are easy. The answers will get you killed. Are you asking me to stop, or was that a veiled threat? Either way, I'ma just pour my coffee all down myself. Whoa. This is... To have good coffee. Excuse me? Thank you. This diner here is my hobby, but coffee roast is my profession. Subscriptions are big money these days, and everyone's chasing a good cup. I like a good meal, but I ain't a picky eater. In my Navy days, a tuna fish sandwich and a cup of joe were all I needed. Ah, oh, I'm aware of mid rats. How's the taste? Clean. City roast. Chocolate and almonds. Ah, you got a distinct palate. You ever tired of, uh, Whatever you do, I could use a taste tester. <laughs> and my mum told me my bougie taste wouldn't get me far. <laughs> well, Jebby, that was some damn pine coffee. That'll be yours. One moment. Ooh, yeah, I heard a little ding ding. Grub time. Jebby, what is this? Mmm, smells good. Um, what did I order? My rotating special. This is burger. Venison, mushroom, carrots, potatoes, and wild herbs. Thickened with a little cornmeal. That actually does sound really good. <laughs> oh, I'm sure as hell hungry. Well? Delicious. I just, it was so delicious I transcended realms for a second. What the hell was that? Oh, thanks. Food's a universal language. You can learn a lot from its ingredients, preparation, rituals, and flavour. A forest. There was a forest and something else. Someone else was there. Oh, I got you speaking in tongues. Cities are built with bricks, but cultures built with calories. The wealthy eat slim meals while the slaves live off the trimmings. History of America right there. History of the world. Burger is a working man's meal. Communal, freshly hunted deer, veggies sourced from local farms and gardens. Everyone gives what they can and receives what they need. For ten bucks, of course. You gotta give back. <laughs> Thanks for the meal. Let me pick up the bill. What the hell? Ooh, the dream photo. That photo. Morning, JB. I'll have my usual. Who are you? Ooh, are you the portly gentleman that tried to shoot me? Oh, that was so good! That was so good! I love that so much. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, like I said before, it's like it's very much got the, the PT vibe to it with the hallway, but that's it. It's not a rip-off of PT at all or a clone of PT. It's far, far superior to that. 
but yeah, the, the combination of that, the, the Twin Peaks elements of just the weirdness. It's got like a real story put into it as well, like with the, the lore of this town and wow, really, really, really cool. So I just had a look on the game page for this and it said that it's the plan is to release it in four parts. So it'll be like four chapters, each one like an hour and a half to two hours long. So it's going to be quite a big game. But the first part is due to come out Q4 this year. So still got a little bit of time yet before the first part fully comes out. But I'll be keeping my eye out for this because this is really, really cool. But for now, we will awaken. So that was still Ridge. And once again, I'm going to say that was amazing. It's cool to see a game like that that's point and click as well. So you don't have to worry about, obviously, the controls. You go into PS1 aesthetically style games expecting the controls to be quite tanky because that's just the style. But to have the point and click was really good and it worked really well. I don't know what that issue was with the drag in the photos. It just if everything weighed a ton, I couldn't move it. But resetting the game seemed to help. I don't know if that's something that they are aware of. If not, I may have found a bug. But either way, loved it. Loved it. Love the story. Love the intrigue. Love the mystery. Love the weirdness. Love the just grim nature of it all. Really good. So, if you want to check this out for yourself, then I'll put the link to this game page and the link to the Haunted PS1 demo disc in the description. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then why don't you go ahead the like button, the super mysterious but seldom spoken about two minute axe killer that is the subscribe button, make sure you that bad boy. And until next time, love you bye.